Hi everyone, uh, this next video we're going to play with a tool called Google Trends. Trends.google.com or google.com slash trends will get you there. Um, this is an assignment that we'll have due uh, toward the end of uh, week one in this class. Um, and to know the exact uh, deadline, always check your Google Trends assignment sheet. It's in our week one uh, class folder. Um, and for this uh, recording, it's not uh, necessarily for future classes. Uh, the deadline is Thursday, May 21st at noon. But, you know, check uh, the assignment sheet for your specific class. Um, the assignment, and I've got some examples up here and, and how it will be evaluated, um, is to do uh, some searches uh, in Google Trends on what people are searching for uh, in Google. Um, and it, those insights can really give you some, some cool graphics and some cool uh, insights into what people are looking for and what they're interested in online. Um, now, keep in mind, I'm uh, recording this in the spring of 2020 when uh, coronavirus and COVID-19 uh, are very highly searched terms. Um, and, uh, you know, so uh, it'll vary, you know, by whenever you watch this video as to what's trending. And we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, for those of you in class, also, please look through uh, these uh, class lectures. Um, this uh, slideshow will just take you a couple minutes to get through. It's on Google Trends. Um, and please do follow at Google Trends. It's one of Google's best Twitter accounts. Uh, so make sure you're following that because it uh, can give, generate a lot of ideas for your uh, project. Uh, uh, or if you're in a class that has a final project or something like that. My summer class does not have a final project. But if it does, uh, it can be very, very helpful to you. So here's a quick tour of Google Trends. Trends.google.com. Um, the search bar is up here at the top that allows you to search for different topics. Uh, in search terms and see how many people are, are searching for them. It's a, actually a nor little normalization of, of that search number. There's 3 billion plus searches per day on Google. So there's a lot of data coming in here. And you can do the searches based on you know, uh, country, s uh, state, even down to the city level, which is kind of cool. Um, Trends also has some pre-built uh, graphics out there, you know, not too wild about some of these topics are kind of old, uh, but it does uh, have uh, some trending uh, topics as well. In this case, you know, coronavirus is very big right now. It's the spring of 2020. Um, we also have the Democratic primaries going on. The census uh, is really big right now. Um, so you can dig, go through and dig through these uh, if you want to hit the pause button and check them out and see what you uh, want to uh, explore there. Um, also a little lower on the page, uh, you'll see the recently trending section. Uh, these are topics that are trending heavily on Google right now internationally. Um, so shelter in place obviously is a big one, Do Dr. Fauci. Uh, it's one of the first times I've uh, seen, have not seen coronavirus or COVID-19 uh, 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 in several days out here, but the hantavirus did make the list. The Olympics, uh, they were postponing the Olympics for a year. Uh, and, of course, it's National Puppy Day, so there's a lot of searches on that as well. So that's kind of a fun thing to go in and check a few times a day just to see what people are searching for and what's you know kind of trending in pop culture. If sports were going on right now, uh, we would probably be seeing a lot of uh, uh, you know teams and uh, athlete names in there, but uh, you know, especially with the start of baseball that was supposed to be this week, but not happening. So we're going to do a little test here with Google Trends, and I'll kind of show you how it works. So go up here and type in Hillary Clinton, H-I-L-L-A-R-Y, two L's, and Hillary Clinton. And notice it gives you some options in the uh, uh, drop-down menu here. It'll give you what's called topics down here or the broad search term up here. What we're going to look at is the broad search terms. That's anything that has that full name typed in. These other ones uh, have context. I mean, it may be her as First Lady, U.S. Senator, Secretary of State, uh, you know, uh, the National Airport or whatever in Little Rock. Uh, there's all kinds of different contexts you can look for. But just type in Hillary Clinton and then hit return. And it doesn't show you much. It shows you the U.S. over the last 12 months. These are all the searches. This is a percentage over here, 100%. So she maxed out uh, in search just on her name October 20th through the 26th of 2019. Doesn't tell us much. She came pretty close in early March. You know, So if you could do a little search on her name in Google News and search back on those dates, uh, you can probably see a, you know, a news story that may have generated or what she was doing that may have generated that interest. But this doesn't tell us much. What's interesting here is where you can compare the different subjects. So I can type in Donald Trump. Again, pick search term, not a subtopic, because you don't want to pair, compare search term to subtopic. 
you'll get kind of some weird results, but do it as a search term, search term to search term. Well, that tells us a little more. You know, he's president, he's searched quite a bit, and, you know, uh, she's kind of out of the public limelight. You know, still not all that great. Well, these drop-down menus here allow you to narrow your search. If I wanted to search these by image search or by Google News search or YouTube search, I could do that. We're just going to leave this with web search. Instead of the past 12 months, um, let's narrow it down to just the campaign year. I can look at the past hour, uh, the past uh, five years, past 90 days, 2004 to present. This database goes back to 2004. Let me click on custom time range and then hit full year. And we'll go to the campaign year, which is 2016. Hit OK. Now we're going to be getting somewhere. This is US search, who is more popular. And Trump led Hillary almost the entire way. She surpassed him around September 11th when she passed out the 9-11 memorial. Uh, July 24th through the 30th was the Democratic National Convention. And this was the FBI uh, email investigation here. So he pretty much dominated and searched the whole way. And I'm not saying that uh, these tools will predict the outcome of an election, uh, but, you know, it, it sometimes is indicative on public interest in a candidate. You know, this would be a good thing to do with Biden and Bernie moving ahead or in the fall, you know, once we move into Trump and uh, whoever he's running against, um, it'd be good to type their names in there. Um, share this chart. You can hit the share button right here. Um, you can share it to Facebook, Twitter, and so on. You know, you'll be tweeting uh, your posts and things. It does have embed code. It doesn't work too well with Medium and WordPress. So I'm going to show you a little hack to work around that. You do want to capture, though, after you've created a graphic like this, uh, this little link up here. This is the link to the full page with all of the data uh, uh, and results about this. It shows related queries, sometimes even questions people ask about the candidates. So you can see what context people are searching for them in. And those uh, tables are embeddable as well. For your medium post on, on this, you're going to want to do a screen capture of this little chart right here, including the names up here so we know what they look like. Um, and you'll post these uh, as a little image into your uh, medium post. And then you'll also link off to the interactive chart. You'll do a little hot link off to that. So to screen capture it, if you're on a Mac, hit Command. Command Shift 4 and give you these little crosshairs and just paint across the area you want to screen grab and make sure you capture the legend and the full graphic. And it will drop out on your desktop a little screen capture of that image. And mine's sitting right down here. It'll eventually move out here to the desktop and we'll be all set. Once you have that, you can just move it right in as you normally would in any image in, into medium. Um, there's the image right there. Um, and then create a hot link in medium off to your post. And uh, the, the hot links um, in Medium are pretty easy to do. Um, I'll actually do one here and demo it for you. And I'll create a new story. And I'll upload the image, capture that screen grab, and it drops the image right in there. So um, it's got a, a cut line uh, availability there. I don't think you really need it for this because it's just kind of an individual graphic. Um, and now I'm going to create a hot link to the interactive chart. So you know you'll want to capture this link up here. View the interactive chart. I'll make that the hot link. Don't just cut and paste the raw link code in there. Uh, that is bad news. So you'll get a bad grade for that. Um, so click on the link right there. Cut and paste the link in, then hit return, and now you've got a nice hot link. So you'll do this. You know, you'll write a few hundred words about analysis about your your post. Uh, you'll do a couple of these graphics, um, you'll, topics that you'll choose. If you're unsure, you know, just drop me a little email and bounce the idea off me. Um, you can do all kinds of really fun, interesting topics. You know, think about what's trending in the news right now. 
um, and, and kind of build your comparisons around that. Um, you can also dig back in time if you want to do something a little more historical, but really doing current uh, uh, posts is, is the, the better way to go. So hope this helps. Uh, enjoy the assignment. This video, once it's posted uh, to YouTube, uh, will also be linked off your Google Trends uh, assignment uh, right up here at the top. It'll have the little video right here. Um, so we'll see you next time. Thanks.